is I'm gonna cook you one of my favorite side dishes. And it is shiitake mushrooms, green beans, black beans, and garlic. No oil because in my diet, whole food, plant-based, no animal products on my side. You just add things in and let things go when you're ready if you choose to. I don't use oil. It's not that I don't use fat in my food, but I use whole foods. And so I get my fat from avocados and soy and even oats have fat. This pan is very hot. I got it at a Chinese market. I absolutely love it because it has a lot of room. And I'm throwing in green beans that I bought from Trader Joe's. This isn't green bean season. I would have gone to my um, farm store and gotten them fresh that way. But these are organic green beans. I love the Blue Lake when they have them. It's an entire pound. My husband and I can eat this, the, the full dish in one meal. And I'm using it as a side dish because I don't have a, a, well, I have a protein source. The green beans have protein. The peanuts have protein. The mushrooms have protein. Um, but you could also kick it up a notch by adding cubed uh, roasted or toasted or baked um, uh, tofu. I'm going to step away, put that there. Now, I'm letting this sit for just a moment. The pan is really hot. So what I'm doing is I'm searing these green beans. And when I got them out of the bag, or if I had gotten them from the farm store, I take off just the stem end, this little pointy end is just fine. And if they were long, I broke them in half, or just cut the grouping of them in half. See, here's one of the stems. And this stem that escaped me, and this stem is too hard to chew, and it's not something you want to leave in there. So I'm talking and pretty well leaving this alone because I want it to, um, to brown. I'm gonna step away for a second again. That's funny because I heard this little sound and it was my refrigerator telling me I left the door open. Okay. And I'm gonna toss it again. I'm starting to see little bits of char and we don't want to char our food a lot because of chromide and um, the mylar effect where the the charring can actually um, create uh, some elements in our body that become carcinogenic but we've got a little of this just to add to the flavor and it's it's um blistering the green beans really well and i'm going to do it again one more time now where did i get the black beans the black beans I bought on Amazon, I describe it in my recipe. My recipe is on my website, nansimmonson.com. It's in my newsletter that's going out this week. And I'm gonna to toss it one more time. You see, it's not burning. There is no oil. I didn't need oil. When I saw this, this uh, a similar recipe to this, the thing that kind of got me off on the tangent of this combination, uh, they called for two to three tablespoons of oil. The processed oils, and all oils are processed, even cold-pressed olive oil is processed, and olives not, olive oil is. Um, especially if they're heated, it changes them structurally, but the pressed oils, most of the vegetable oils are very, very high in omega-6s. And we're way out of balance with our omega-6s. All processed food will have a high level, high ratio of omega-6s, and if any, omega-3s, um, very, very low. Our ratio should be anywhere from like one omega, um, one omega-3 to, let's say, three omega-6s. Um, or one to one, one to two, one to three. We are currently in America averaging one to 20 omega-6s or 30 omega-6s. I heard one expert say uh, up to 40, one to 40 ratio. Uh, that's very inflammatory. So that's why I don't do oil. I get plenty of fat in the food that I eat. Now, the green beans are blistered. I'm gonna put some of the fluid 
liquid from having soaked these shiitake mushrooms. I bought them on Amazon. I got a pound of them. They're organic. The thing is, mushrooms are are raised in a compost, and that compost, I think, if it's not organic, could have some things in it I don't want. Would I choose not to buy mushrooms if they weren't organic? No, mushrooms are a very healthy food. But I found these online, um, and they are organic, gluten-free, forest-grown, premium dried, um, non-irradiated, non-GMO, <laughs> etc. And this was all I have of the name, so um, that's what I was looking for on Amazon. And they weren't terribly expensive. I believe, and see, I just wanted to steam these to turn them bright green. We're almost done with this dish. This is how quick it is. Now, and I'll, I'll finish what I was saying about the, um, the mushrooms, but first, let me add next the black beans. And the black beans I got online as well. They are fermented, sometimes I'll say salted, but they're fermented black beans. And I wrote on the recipe the brand that I chose. It was the second time I bought it. And this is the difference between the mushroom. You can't eat it dehydrated, but look how soft it is and very chewy. If the stem's really tough, I cut off the stem. But once these were soaked, and I soaked, oh, I don't know, 10, 12 of the mushrooms and cut them in half. And then what I was saying about this is that I then drained the juice from the water, from the mushrooms. I wanted to add some garlic, and I'm adding four cloves of garlic. This is chopped garlic. One teaspoon of it chopped is a clove. All right. And I'm going to toss this. Now, garlic burns. Onions, I could throw in this pan and let them weep. That's how I dry saute any recipe that starts with onions. But your garlic is drier, and it will burn, and then it gets bitter. Onions tend to get sweeter, not burnt, but um, garlic gets bitter. Put a little more of this in. Let it go. All right. What happens every time I add the fluid, the juice, the water, the drained water, is that it sizzles and gives me sort of a calm caramelization. Can you see this? Now, this is the magic ingredient. I'm going to add two tablespoons, and once I do that, I'm putting two because that's in the recipe, but I may choose to put a little bit more. This is gluten-free, organic tamari. And tamari is a fermented soy product. I need to go gluten-free. And what's going to happen, I've got this on medium-high, is that the soy sauce is going to caramelize to a degree. I went to the my nearby um, Whole Foods market called Clark's, and I looked for some organic peanuts. Otherwise, I probably would have used um, toasted cashews. That's really good in this as well. And I found them. They were organic. They were not salted. They were um, oven roasted. Now, this is about ready to eat because, the, oh, you should smell it. The garlic is not burnt, but I've got this nice glaze and it's caramelizing. I'm going to throw in, I think I said a quarter of a cup. Uh, you could chop them. I'm going to break them up a little, kind of break those whole peanuts in half. Oh, man. Toss it. And this is lunch today. I'm making this at 11.40. And this will be lunch. I feel like I was in the middle of something about the mushrooms and I can't remember. But on my recipe, I have the brand names for things, but I don't think I had the brand name for the mushrooms. But look for organic on, on Amazon. And um, we're aging powerfully with the right food. Be sure to tell friends about our mission and our movement to at any age adopt lifestyle changes, including great whole food that will allow you to age 
with power. No more of this medications and high blood pressure and diabetes. Those things can be healed with diet. I'm wishing you the best. Bye-bye.